welcome to the third episode of my Wild Atlantic Way trip in Ireland. I left you in episode two, where I'd just woken up in Mizzen Head and a woman had dumped a bag of rubbish next to my car and then decided to hide it in a bush when she realised there was someone in my car. This morning I'm off to Dunlock Castle, which is also on Mizzen Head, so I'm leaving Mizzen Head. I've got about a 12 minute drive and you can see the lanes I'm on at the moment are very, very narrow, seldom used. Luckily I didn't meet any cars coming in the opposite direction either way. It's a fairly early start, I'm on the road just after 8am, so you'd expect it to be pretty quiet anyway, especially this far in the middle of nowhere. I'm going to let the video play out until I get to the car park at Dunlop as the drive and the views are, are pretty cool and it's nice to remember a drive from time to time. We're almost there. Now the idea this morning is to have a good little hike. It's a only a 20, 25 minute hike to Dunlop Castle. You do have to go over quite a steep hill. If you don't want to watch the next couple of minutes of this drive, skip ahead to the time code, four minutes and eight. I'll put a chapter in. So I slept at Mizzen Head last night, got up early. Got up early to the sound of a woman very near my car when her motorhome was 100 yards away. And the noise of a bottle falling over. And I wasn't sure if she was cleaning up rubbish or um, dumping rubbish. As I left, I saw a bag of bottles bloody stuffed at the side of the road. Cheeky cow. Right, so. Free Castle Head, Dunlock Castle. It's on private land, so whoever owns it has built this nice little car park. I've just popped three euros in the honesty box here. And I'm parked down there because I'm nice and early. It's just gone eight o'clock in the morning. Apparently it's a 20, 25 minute walk over that hill at the top there. 
which doesn't look much of a hill on the camera because of the widescreen. But again, beautiful area. This is an area of Mizzen Head that you can't normally get to. And even the visitor center at Mizzen Head is quite restricted to, to where you can and can't go. Right, let's get my trekking pole, bottle of water, let's get going. And the view from Dunlock Castle, car park, it's on private land, so the car park's uh, half a mile away from the castle. Look at that. A quick Google says it's about 2,000 miles across to Newfoundland. Lovely approach. Got to get over this hill. It would appear that I've put my money in one of the houses post box and not in a donation box. But as I put the coins in, I did hear a rattle at the bottom. I'd imagine it happens quite a bit. Let's hope they're honest. As halfway up the hill, the honesty box was there. Now that's changed a bit because it was a donation box. Honesty box implies that you have to pay and they trust you to it because they don't have, can't afford to have staff. Whereas a donation box is whether you want to pay or not. And that's normally to do with insurances and whether it's uh, official and I suppose taxable. Now which way do you go? That way. Let's go this way. My route has just brought me up this way. One of the things I hate about walking through farmers fields is these have had cattle or sheep in and the flies. Just horrible. Dunlock and I would imagine there it is here and now three different towers of Dunlock Castle look at that one of Ireland's oldest castles Southern Ireland, or in the south of Ireland, there were only a few holding this, originally built in 1205, 1206, something like that. That's amazing. Apologies for all the heavy breathing there as I recorded as I was hiking. I was going up quite a steep hill and I'm not fit yet, so inevitable. I think it's fair to say that three euros per person is more than enough. They have done the car park, lots of signage. There are um, fences in front of possible rock falls. Good quality fencing to protect you from going too close to the edge because that's a clear shift. A sheer cliff face the other side there, as you can just about see there. Dead centre of screen, that is a drop, an overhang of soil on top of a cliff. I'm sure they get a few thousand visitors a year, not ultra many, but it is absolutely beautiful. I'm here at before half eight in the morning, so I was the only one in the car park. I'm not sure if there's any other hikers or people around. I haven't seen anybody yet. As I leave, let's just have one last look back at the Dunlock Castle and Dunlock and the views of peninsulas in the distance. 
And there's the road that I came in on, sneaking up through the country and over the hills. What a stunning place this is. Absolutely incredible. Now, how was I supposed to know the honesty box was right up here? And the car parks right now. You assume the box near the car is the correct one. Certainly worked up an appetite this morning. We get, we have corn sausages, a bit of cheddar cheese, some hot pepper sauce, and a nice cup of coffee. I'm parked up in a little picnic area just a few kilometres north of Bantry. Did some shopping in both Lidl and Super Value in Bantry today. Some pretty good bargains to be honest. Just had a spot of lunch. I made it in the car, just brought it over to the table and I'm parked over there. And the sun has just gone in. It has been relentless on this trip. Every time I've been doing something, the sun has been beating down on me, trying to find shade, and there's no trees here that were offering any shade. But it's just gone behind the clouds for a little while, which is nice. Um, I know it's Ireland, so I shouldn't wish for too much for uh, the sun to disappear. But since I've been here, and when I was here last year, it's just freakily hot weather. I suppose someone needs to go from pub to pub checking the quality of Guinness. So the jackery won't come on. I noticed this morning my phone's 48% charged. Won't come on at all. Let's plug it into charge. Still not coming on. Ah, oh, have to plug the other end in as well, Sean. Okay, plug into charge, immediately into charge. It's saying it's 71% full. So why can't I use it? Why is it not working if it's 71% charged? It's absolutely no good to me if I have to have it on charge to be able to charge something else. Look how quickly that's going down. I had to plug it into charge and it was at 71% when it came back on, started charging, because it switched itself off. Obviously at 71%. Look how fast, I'm 23 watts, I've got an iPhone 14 Pro plugged in at 48% battery. Look at the percentage of the lap power's going down. That is not right. 20 watts. That's less than two amp hours. So I've lost seventeen percent of the battery life. And now it's stabilized. I'm gonna to go to the app and have a look. And a few seconds later I've unplugged my phone. And because it's not charging my phone, it stopped charging the EcoFlow. It's not actually charging, although it's still plugged into the 12 volt socket. Okay, so I've made a hotspot on my phone. I've connected the EcoFlow to the Wi Fi. There's no firmware updates. The maximum and minimum charging is 0% up to 100%. There's no timeouts. All timeouts are set to never. So, what is the matter with this thing? It's just not, it's just not good enough down to 50% now why is the battery going down when it's not even when it's not even outputting anything well it's using a display and it's connecting to Wi-Fi and Bluetooth or whatever but that's not worthy of five now five percent drop 
that's a hole. And now it's charging again. So now I'm charging the EcoFlow, it will charge my phone. So I stayed overnight in Bantry. It's supposed to be a market this morning. Just chucked it down most of the night, so I'm not sure if that's going to happen. It's parked alongside this wall here. It's not a normal walkthrough. It's real if I turn around. People either carry on down the pavement or cross over there after going to Super Value. And up the end there is a dead end. So you can park up there with a, you can see, is it a van or a camper van up there? Motorhome at the end behind the lorry. Um, that's where I parked last year. But it tends to be a lot noisier there and also people walk right next to your vehicle so they'll certainly hear, hear my snoring in the vehicle if they walk past. And uh, I don't think anybody walked past down this little side of my car last night. I could have got closer to the wall. But it allows me to have the window open for the first part of the night until it chucked it down. Okay, so I've unplugged the EcoFlow from charging again and obviously the iPhone, we're at 54%. So let's try a different cable now. Let's try instead of a USB-C, a normal USB-A cable. Okay. That's taking eight watts of power, so that's gonna that's gonna charge. So we're getting somewhere. Let's unplug this one. And put back in the USB C to iPhone cable. And that is now working. So now it's had a charge. It's working. So is this display on the front not reading correct? There's my park up. As I say, this is a dead end road. You can either go down to part of the pier or you go to Super Value, which is a busy shop, but it's not overnight, is it? So um, yeah, good little park up, nice and easy could have parked at the side of the road all, all around here to be honest it's market day on a friday so the signs up in the car park there in front saying please don't park here 6 till 10 a.m on a friday so in yesterday's video i moaned about the relentless sun on me couldn't find shade i was doing some weird things on this phone from the colour I look like I've got lipstick on I can assure you I haven't but um, wearing my new branded smock and um, new top this waterproof material so I'm quite happy with this it's quite, it's quite thick yesterday I wished that the relentless sun would give me a break it hasn't stopped raining since. <laughs> if you're in need of a tractor seat, then Bantry Market is for you. Parked up the same place, just through Valley Licky or something like that. Um, I actually went back and myself to Bantry for a, a couple of days. Went to the market, that was interesting. Now I'm just parked up in this lay-by. Main road's just at the top there. It's actually drizzling with rain. Uh, remember correctly, two days ago exactly, I sat on those benches, middle of the screen there. I said this sun was relentless. Not teach me. 
But anyway, I'm just cooking some uh, breakfast stuff. It is lunchtime, but cooking myself some breakfast. And, um, and then planning to move on. Just a mile or two up the road from Ballylicky. Didn't have great internet here. It's not much better here, but it's working. Just to look out over the bay parking area. These areas are great. They um they are restrictive though. They do have height barriers, 2.1 meters, and they don't have uh, indicators that they're coming. There's no like parking 300 yards or anything like that. You just go past them. So I actually went past the first exit and to come in the the second exit entrance. Um, it's just a bit of a tight turn. But anyway, I need to plan what I'm doing today. It's a Saturday. The roads are still fairly quiet, this sort of area of the country. Um, I'll see where I'm going. I believe the next town is Glengariff. Um, don't know how big that is, or as I've never heard of it. But um, And then I'll be on to the Bearer Peninsula, which I've done before. So over the next couple of videos, I'll probably share some footage from last year as well as this year and I'll indicate which is which just so that um, it doesn't get wasted anyway let's have a look at the map and let's plan where I'm going today as it was a Saturday I thought I'd drive north to the next town of Kenmare go for a few beers listen to some live music Somewhere in the mountains, I pass from County Cork to County Kerry. A whole new adventure awaits. I found it quite comforting to be able to follow other cars, to be honest. The first car was going particularly slow and I would hate it if people were queuing up behind me. I'd probably pull over into a lay-by and let everybody pass. I'm sure on a clear day the views are spectacular, but not for me. I don't really have a head for heights and I always fear the worst on tight bends and places like this of how big the drop-off is. So I'm quite happy for the cloudy and rainy weather today. I'm going to call it a day for part three of the Wild Atlantic Way. Please join me in part four. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.